What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another War Robots video. So today we are going to show you guys how to build a really awesome Revenant. We're going to talk about pilot skills, modules, drones, weapons, the whole nine yards. Currently, if built right, Revenant's definitely one of the toughest robots in the game. And this guy will get in there and he will pack a punch. He recently got rebalanced where he lost a little bit of hit points, but gained some hit points on the shields. You can't really tell that much of a difference, honestly. He's still really good. Let's start off showing you the best weapons we can run on this guy. We'll move on to some other stuff and then we'll go do some gameplay at the end. Now, as far as the heavy weapon goes, the Banes or Cruel Banes are awesome. I love the Bane weapons on this. Devastator is extremely good. That's one of the best weapons to put on there. It's a little more challenging to play than some weapons, but if you can get the hang of this thing, it's extremely good. Puncher is amazing, guys. The Puncher packs a punch, pun intended, at really close range. At a distance, not such a great weapon, but up close, that Puncher is amazing. You really can't go wrong with an Ember, guys. Ember will tear some people up at close range. A little bit hard to aim at fast-moving targets, but still, just an all-around damage-dealing beast. Uh, the Redeemers, guys. Redeemers can be extremely good up on top of your Revenant. Not my first choice because it doesn't deal as much damage at point blank as some of these other weapons, but if you don't have any of those other weapons, Redeemer is awesome. And lastly, we're going to talk about the Nucleons, which are really good. This is a special edition Nucleon. That's why it looks different. I know some people have probably never seen this one, but... Nucleon is great because at close range, you never have to reload. You can just shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot. No reload at close range. That makes these really cool. Now, as far as light weapons go, if you're running the Devastator, the Scatters can be extremely good. Love these things, but I wouldn't run these without the Devastator. The Blaze, the light version of the Flamethrower is amazing. The Toxins are amazing. The Corkers can be really good. We got the Blaze, which is the light version of the Flamethrower. We got Shredders, which is the light version of the Puncher. And those are the main recommendations I have for heavies and lights. Now, for the most part, you can mix match any of these setups. Like, we got a Puncher and two Flamethrowers. That works awesome. Now, I wouldn't mix match the Nucleon and Corkers with anything else because... Those are kind of weird with the cooldowns and stuff like that. And at point blank, you never have to reload those. Now, the sonic weapons like the Devastator and the Scatter, I wouldn't mix match the heavy and the lights with something else. I would always make sure I ran those together and I would make sure I run these together. But, you know, you can run like Bane and two flamethrowers. You can run Puncher and two flamethrowers. You can run Puncher and two toxins. I mean, you can mix match most of these, most of these weapons and it's going to be an amazing setup still. Okay, so let's talk about the best modules. So currently, I think this is the best setup you can get. One nuclear amplifier, one repair amplifier, a heavy armor kit, and the advanced healing module. That will keep this thing alive for a long time. Now, heavy armor kits. You could run three of those if you don't have those other setups. You could run three balance units. Or you can mix a couple of balance units with a couple of heavy armor kits. Or you could run a nuclear amplifier with a couple of balance units. Um, you could even run Last Stand now. The way Last Stand is currently working, I actually don't mind it on a Revenant. It seems to be pretty good. Mainly because now you can heal when you're in your Last Stand. And that definitely makes them worth running on your tanks. Where before, I never ran these on tanks. So now I think they're still pretty darn good on your tanks. So any combination of those modules should be awesome. Just don't run more than one last stand. I don't know why some people do that. That's crazy. Okay, so let's get into the pilot skills. Now, the pilot skills are very important on the Revenant. These are the ones I would get, okay? So you want to have the Vasila Mesa Manova pilot, or however you say that. Then we got the tough guy skill. We got cautious pilot, armor expert, Module Expert, we got Dodger, we got Roadhog, and we have Death Survivor. I think those are the seven best skills to put on this guy. And remember, adding a lot of pilot skills really makes the Revenant shine. He's one of those robots that really does need a lot of pilot skills before he really starts to do well. Now, when it comes to drones, Nebula, 
the new whiteout and the glider are my picks for the Revenant, those are definitely going to be the best. If you're running the new whiteout, this thing EMPs anybody within 100 meters every four seconds. It's kind of crazy. But I would run two on your repair unit defense chips and two on high damage fixed percentage chips. Now, there's one with and without the percentage, okay? The percentage chip is way better for tanks. The one without the percentage is better for your squishy bots. Next, let's talk about the Nebula. You're going to want to run a suppressor, two on repair unit defense chips, and a on mild damage absorber. Those are the best setups you can get for the Nebula. Hands down, that's what you want to run on this. Now, if you're running a glider, remember, if you're trying to hold a beacon, you don't really want to use phase shift or the other team is going to start grabbing the beacon while you're in phase shift. So this one's not ideal, but at the same time, this is a good drone because you can run a suppressor, two on high damage fixed percentage chips, and the mild damage absorber, which is actually pretty darn good. But just make sure you're using phase shift at the right time. This one will make you heal up while you're in the, when you come out of your phase shift. And I forgot to mention the Nebula, it'll just sit there and heal you up as you start taking damage. So it's a really good drone to have for your tanks. All right, let's go play a couple games. We got two Revenants set up. We're going to go into battle and we're going to wreck some red dudes with these guys and see how they do. One's got a Nebula, one's got a Whiteout, one's got Puncher and Flamethrowers, and one's got the Nucleon set up. So let's go do it to it. All right, we're going to go ahead and drop our Revenant with the whiteout and we're gonna head right to the center beacon or maybe the left beacon depends on uh is someone gonna go left hopefully he goes left i want to go to center i need to take and defend center if i need to i can teleport over there to help my guy let me grab this really quick since nobody else seems to be going for center those guys are all standing in the back i don't know what's going on back there but we're going to grab this. All right, cool. Our teammate needs a little help, so we're going to teleport over here and help him out. All right, let's kill this thing real fast. And we're also going to make sure nobody goes to center. If someone starts heading to center, we're going to have to go do something about it. But our little whiteout drone should be EMPing this guy every couple of seconds. Dude! Are you freaking kidding me? I hate these players, man. The guy runs right into the back of me and just pushes me so I can't get back to cover. What is wrong with people that do this? I mean, he all he had to do was step around me, but no, let's just push right up into the back of somebody and push them into the enemy's fire. Man, I'm telling you. That's just a bad player. I'm sorry. I don't like to talk crap about people, but that is a bad player. So anyways, let's give ourselves a nice little mothership with the healing. We're going to go ahead and hit our healing module. I don't know why, but we did. <laughs> Didn't really need it. But this the whole point of this is you guys get to see just how hard it is to kill one of these robots right here. So we're going to go ahead and use our ability... All right. It's all about timing your abilities right. And I don't think that was proper timing. They're stealing our home. So, guys, we're going to go after their, after them in our home beacon. And it looks like maybe they're on their way to center. So, let's, uh, let's deal with this guy first. Let's get to center and make sure they don't take it. And then we'll get the home in a minute. All right. We got a guy in the home. So, we're going... Or, we got a guy in the center. So, we're going for our home. But yeah, I think people who uh, push you out there like that are doing it intentionally. I mean, I don't really understand why or what somebody's thinking other than let's push that guy out and make them die. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure why somebody would run up into the back of you and just push you out into where you're being shot. All right, double kill. So there's a guy back here. We're going to have to take care of him real fast. I think our teammates have him. So he is being a distraction. He's being a distraction. Thank you, little mender, for the healing. That was awesome. All right, there's a guy over here trying to take our beacon. So we might need to, uh, we might need to go take care of this really quick before we lose this beacon. Ah, we lost it. Crap sandwiches. 
But we got three beacons, so our team's doing great. I'm being shot by Titans now, but the whole idea of this is you guys get to see exactly how tough this guy is and how hard, how, how, how hard it is to kill this dude. Forgive me for yelling at that player earlier, but that was pretty rotten and uncalled for. All right, we're going to go ahead and drop the other Revenant in, and we're going to go right to center, right? We're going to teleport right in here. We're going to fight this Titan, guys. Can we take on a Titan by ourselves? Well, we're going to try. We're going to try, right? Now, good news is my team's over here shooting the heck out of it, so that's going to be a big help. Now, this Titan over here, I don't know what this is. That's a Miramitz. We're gonna, our goal is to destroy this thing. We've got to get rid of this, guys. It's being a major butt pain over here, so we got a womp on his face. And that's actually a really strong Miramitz here. We're gonna give ourselves another shield. Now, I can't really leave center or we're gonna lose it. I was gonna go after that Titan, but if I leave, we are gonna lose it. So right now, I got a Revenant, a Titan, all kinds of stuff shooting at me, which is not good. I'm about to die, so we're gonna hit that healing module. And unfortunately, I mean, you can still see how hard this thing is to kill. But uh, unfortunately, this one's not doing as well as the last one. But when you start getting whomped on by a Titan, yeah, that's pretty hard to deal with. So we're going to go ahead and hit the healing module again to try and stay alive for a few more minutes. And they took me down. They took me down. So I think we're just going to go ahead and play this game. And we're just going to do the one game, or this is going to be too long of a video. So let's go ahead and finish this game up. But that gives you guys a really good idea of how tough that guy can be in the right situation. It took them quite a while to kill that thing. And this new harpy looks amazing. Why can't I move? I guess it gets stuck on things, though. But pretty much every robot gets stuck on things. All right, we got one. We got one. Looks like we're taking care of business over here. So let's... Oh, he's in the last stand. Let's go ahead and fire some shots off into the crowd. The only problem with these particular weapons is, man, it takes quite some time for these to reload, but they do pack a punch. Let's get up in the air. Let's mash this dude. We're going to splash damage him because I know he's a little bit off to the side there. But these do some really good damage now, especially after the buff. These weapons just recently got buffed. The flaming rockets are now really good. But anyways, our team won. Um, yeah, it, it's a very tough robot, very hard to kill. You know, I would definitely build it the way I showed you on here. If you can, you can't go wrong with that. All right, 4.6 million damage, 5 kills. Not too bad. I came in second place. But yeah, this was a lot of fun. And the last two live streams I did over the last couple of days show a lot, a lot of the new stuff. You get to see the new Titan in action and a lot of the other new stuff as well. So you might want to go back and check those out. But anyways, if you really want to help your favorite YouTube channels out, always hit that like button and subscribe to their channels, share their videos with your friends. And if you have the time, watch the videos till the end. YouTube pays attention to all those stats and those will really help your favorite YouTubers out. Thanks for watching. You guys are awesome.